uh, using aloe, some aloe vera, um, which I've just cut off of a plant growing outside in the garden. Um, and so I'm going to be using this to make a few beauty recipes today, um, as sometimes we don't feel like washing our face with oil um, or putting oil on our face. Uh, maybe we had a rich meal last night, the night before, or um, we're just feeling our faces producing more oil. So um, usually I wash my face with oil um, or moisturize with oil. If that's not working for me, um, I can use aloe. I also like to use honey um, or some uh, floral infused waters to kind of just like clean, cleanse and freshen my face, my skin. Um, aloe is great. It's such a, a fabulous plant, a uh, miracle plant, because it is also, we can use this for so many different things um, in the bathroom, in the beauty regimen. Uh, so you can mix this with water, um, just as like kind of a face moisturizer. You can mix it with honey and use it as a face wash. Um, you can just apply the stuff straight to your roots for your hair grow to support hair growth. Um, can you do? Um, I think I'll also today mix it with some olive oil and honey and make kind of a face cream, light little face cream. So those are a few things that I'm going to do today. Um, and then you also use this. This is also an uh, important ingredient when we're making beauty products like mascara and eyeliner. So how do we get the aloe out of this spiky little leaf? Well, I'm just going to make a clean cut here at the end and you can see just like how delicious and gooey that is. And I'll make a little compost pile, so we'll give all of this to the chickens. And then the first thing we want to do is cut off the spiky leaves. So I'll just make a clean cut along the edge. So I've just cut off the spiky edge here. Done. And do that on the other side as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut as best as I can along the bottom. So we've got kind of like the curved top and we've got the flat bottom. So I'm going to try and get the knife's edge along that bottom. Sometimes it works great. Sometimes you have a little bit, but you just press the knife into your cutting board. Not bad, so that's pretty good. Not much goop left on there, so happy with that. And this is what we're working with so far. And now I'm gonna do the same, flip it over and do the same for um, that curved top layer, just pressing it into, first I'm gonna just cut off this little, this little chunk here. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing. Pressing the aloe into the chopping block and pressing my knife down now that it's um, now that the leaf is between the knife blade it just cuts out I'm gonna cut off the tip so cut the tip off there we go oh it's pretty good look at that yum spit it straight on your face <laughs> but you could definitely could um, so that's like such an amazing beauty product right there. And it just grew from the earth. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to use that later. Blend it up. I'm just going to clean up the edges. And that's it. That's how you get the aloe out of its little leaf form. Pretty simple. And then you can blend it. So you, uh, it's kind of hard in its, its current state to um, to mix with things like honey and, and olive oil because it's it's quite uh, it, it has this long structure this kind of uh, so we need to blend it we need the help of our blender but since I've already got it out of my hands and I don't want to waste I'm just gonna apply it to my face so this is a little it can be like a little mask so I'll just leave this on let it absorb into my skin the eyes, so good for the eyes. I have a little, I have a little pimple on my chin, so this will be really good for that. Just like a really light moisturizer, so we're not drying out.
the skin, but we're not over oiling or oiling the skin and then making it want to produce more oils, more of its natural oils. So that's getting aloe out of its little leaf stain. So easy. <laughs> All right, have fun experimenting. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose. But when you talk to me,